Oh, it's genuinely quite stressful. <laughs> no, it's a really funny, sweet film. It is a lovely film. Now, Ed, who are you? Um, I can't actually remember the name of my character, but I... <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Ooh! <laughs> it was a while ago. <laughs> Yes, you had a disco. <laughs> Imagining this. Oh, please wrap up. Right, okay. And um. And then she said, hey, let's all three of us have a photo with our funny English teeth. <laughs> and I went, mine are real. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, as a child, oh, no, I'm his sister. That's it, I'm his sister. And, oh, sexual politics. Um. <laughs> uh, there was lots of it. And she's is really very... You know exactly where you are. I like the kung fu movie. <laughs> Cut to uh, Nick Frost, present day, uh, or whatever his character's called, and um, <laughs> Bruce. He's called Bruce. <laughs> and this is a breakthrough role for you, Jack, because an American accent. Yes. Yes. He's doing an American accent. What in that clip? Y mm -hmm. Yes. Olivia. <laughs> Oh, I'm no. so sorry. I it's, it's terrible. She was promoting a film. She didn't know who she was playing in the film. It was finished. It was in the cinema. It was a long time after we'd filmed it. <laughs> you might have checked before you came on a chat show. And the crew was changing the lights and everything, and he goes, it's my mum's birthday today. And I went, oh, look, how old is your mum? <laughs> Sitting like that with him there. And he went, she went, he went, 43. OK, <laughs> Michael, stop talking. <laughs> Winning an Oscar ages you. <laughs> um, oh, I, I don't know it. why this, they also, because contractually, no offence, but we're sort of asked to come and... and All right, fine, thank but you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She doesn't mean that. I don't mean that. I don't, oh, God. You see, why, she doesn't why want they to be here, ladies <laughs> <laughs> but I do wonder why they asked me to do it. <laughs> I was like, don't help, do I? <laughs> <laughs> We're two really disgusting people making love. Uh, I was just squelching about it, and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> and there was uh, quite a lot of crying. Yeah. In there. Quite a lot of extremes. There was more crying than there was meant to be in the script. Yeah. And, and why is that? I just couldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, to be nominated in my, uh, Alongside those amazing women. Sorry. This is hilarious. Got an Oscar. <laughs> Last year was the best night of my husband's life. <laughs> Must have been a bonkers night. I actually can't remember it. And we were saying backstage we met. Can't remember it. Oh, yes, that was. Yeah. I don't. Know. I do. I do know what to say. I've actually written something down. I do know. Uh, worst bits. Five a.m. Get ups. Yeah, Ugh. it's just not possible. I was going to see a really well-known, um, well-respected theatre casting director, and I was so excited, and I had this script sent through, and the character was uh, quite a raunchy hooker. Um, so I, I bought some fishnets, and I had a top as low as I dared, and a short skirt, and I wore a big duffel on the way there. <laughs> and when I got there, I took it off. <laughs> and she sort of looked at me, and then... And then uh, and I was thinking, well, that wasn't the reaction I was hoping for. And, uh, <laughs> Thank you for the sandwiches. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Um, can't read it either. Uh, and she was saying, so what did you think about the character of um, Matilda or something? And I was thinking, I don't think that was the character I was looking at, Dan. Oh, God, what else am I meant to say? Um, uh, it's done that bit. I think I've done that bit. Um... We're going to go back to 86 and then down to 43. <laughs> what does that mean? It's like bingo, look, straight look back. And this all for sort of half an hour of sort of trying to pretend that I knew what she was talking about. And then she realised I hadn't got the same script that she had and passed over the, the real script, oh. which was about nuns. Oh. <laughs> Glenn, close. I, you've been my idol for so long and this is not how I, I wanted it to be and I, I think you're amazing. I love you very much. So Emma Stone had to finger me. My bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Emma and Rachel. <laughs> well, uh I know, I know. So I asked makeup partner if they had a sponge. And so I put a sponge there. I said, it's all right, it's barren. The finger sponge. It was a big, wet sponge. <laughs> and I sort of said, yes, please, before I'd read it. It's a picture. <laughs> she was going up my leg and she went... <laughs> <laughs> my kids are at home and watching, look. Well, if you're not, then... <laughs> well, kind of, well done, but um, I sort of... <laughs> sort of hope you are. This is not going to happen again. 
Also, can I thank my, my friend Merck? Because she'll laugh. She's, <laughs> she's a teacher, she's not an actor. She's just going to think that's funny. My wife said, no, I no. love you. I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, I, you don't uh, believe in the world dead people? No. I didn't say <laughs> I'm afraid I'm running off with Alberto, the guitar teacher. You do cry, you do good tears. Yeah, well, it's, it's real when it's, when it's happening. So what do you, how it's do really you get upsetting. that to come out? What do you... Well, just because it's, it's sad. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna cry. Um, I'm not... Sorry, I will try and keep it together. <laughs> I turned to go in front of her and she went and as if I had tried to drive into her and I thought okay well there's no one else coming so I'll just to keep her happy I'll do what's wrong but I'll go behind her and she went I'm doing that in the in the car <laughs> and it started to really piss me off because I was right and I was helping her out and then I suddenly got this red mist just as our cars were coming next to each other I suddenly went ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and just as she was doing that she went <laughs> We're having an amazing night, aren't we? <gasps> We're going to get so pissed later. I went on a private jet and, and I ate constantly throughout the film. It was brilliant. Brilliant. And how old are they? 13, 11 and 3. Oh, fantastic. There, well was, done. A, there was a gap. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I had to persuade um, my husband for a few years to help. <laughs> there was one character that had a bow tie. Instead of a clip-on, he had a proper bow tie. Of course he did. Which was stupid, so fast changes, it would come out like that. Yeah. And every time he appeared, it just, it built, it, it the, the giggles became much bigger than the bow tie. <laughs> and he'd appear uh, um, on stage with this thing like that. And, <laughs> and I just one day couldn't, couldn't take it. And the, the suspense was killing me and, and I, I wet my towel. <laughs> <laughs> too we'll much, wrap it up too and my mum and dad for babysitting, thank you very much. <laughs> and it was a great stage, that means it's sliding towards the audience. <laughs> it was my entire bladder, I went <laughs> <laughs> So if other characters are saying something that's sad, I naturally can't help myself. I go <laughs> and burst into tears, which is not what the Queen does. And I think you're amazing. And Maxine and Gary, I'm oh, sorry, not cool. <laughs> They've come up with a trick, so they give me an earpiece and they play the shipping forecast to me. <laughs> so I just have to try and tune into the shipping forecast. <laughs> Is it in revenge? I wiped my legs on his costume when I went back. <laughs> You're not 51. Fucking hell. Thank you, Lindy King, my agent, who took me on over 20 years ago. Thank you so much. So I heard um, Sam Mendes would like to do a Zoom with you. Oh, right. Okay. And I like it going, <laughs> TM! Ah! And I ask him questions and he, I know that he's just being sweet because he actually wants to go, oh How do you go about finding the tragic and the absurd and vice versa? Because that's what you do so beautifully in this role. It's hilarious and shattering. But is there anything that you do like to get into? A... Do you do any, any thinking? It, now, but when you're playing it at something like a detective, do you do, like for broad church, did you do preparation? No. <laughs> Lovely view. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and you can feel that. Olivia Coleman, what will you be doing on Valentine's Day? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Is this about the film? Yes. <laughs> the... I'll be watching a film. <laughs> Your film comes out on February the 14th. <laughs> No, no, oh my I, God, I'm like pulling teeth! <laughs> your, the mobility of your face is not something that our lovely Queen shares. No. no. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Francis, <laughs> Sam, thank you. That I'm suspended you. from the ceiling. <laughs> At lunchtime today, yeah. I said, Hey, should we have lunch together? And she said, You can have 10 minutes of eating and talking, and then I will be lying down, and you can lie down next to me, but silence after that. But, well, no thanks. <laughs> um, because I had to dance on screen, so I had to practice. Do you look good, though? Well, there is... As you know, they have people who actually can dance. Yeah. Who... Because uh, I can only spin three times before I vomit, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, we, do, we do have a picture of you in rehearsals where it doesn't look like it's going that well. <laughs>
<laughs> if my kids are watching, I might. It looked like I said a bad word. I didn't. I said fudge. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, um, Lady Gaga. And it was awfully fun having sex with Emma Stone. <laughs>